Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now, being in a shop, basically what you are, you're a problem solver. And I have a problem. I need to make a bevel cut that's greater than the 45 degrees that the table saw blade will tilt at. But as with every problem, there is a solution. And the solution here is to make a jig to go on the table saw to make those bevel cuts. Not only does it allow you to make these bevel cuts, but it allows you to make them safely. Now this is a simple jig, and if you want to make one, all the items I use to make it will be posted under the video. Now, before we get into the build, give the video a like, good old thumbs up. That helps the channel immensely. And also, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon when you do, and so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Now let's see how I made this simple jig. The first thing we need to do is measure the height of the table saw fence, as this jig is made for a specific table saw fence. Now once you've determined the height, you cut the pieces out on the table saw. And then just check to make sure that it is the proper height. Now we need to determine the width of the cross piece that will go on top. And then again, cut that out on the table saw. And check it and make sure that it fits nicely. And then just using glue and screws, I assembled the base of the jig. Now it's time to cut out the vertical piece of the jig. Now in attaching the vertical piece, I did put a spacer underneath it and then clamped it to the base and then pre-drilled to attach it to the base with screws. I am not gluing the vertical piece to the base. To ensure that the heel is a perfect 90 degrees from the table saw, I clamped a square to the jig and then used that as a reference guide to attach the heel. And again, I'm just attaching the heel with screws, no glue involved. Now I did have to sand down the inside of the base a little bit and I did put a coat of wax on it, so now it moves real smoothly on the fence. Now the final step of assembly is attaching a toggle clamp to secure the workpiece to the jig. And then it's time to take it out for a test run. Here I want to cut a bevel that is 60 degrees. So I just tilted the saw blade to 30 degrees and then made the cut. Using a protractor, I checked out the angle and it's a perfect 60 degrees. Well, that concludes this build, but this jig will make a huge difference in projects that require a bevel cut greater than 45 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.